What up, everybody? Welcome back. Vintage Cube is upon us still. Got a Zelly C, a Paludi D, an Urzel, a Tarifi. Hmm. Those are the four cards I see. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I have a five month old baby. Sleep is good. <laughs> and your humming and tone of voice is so relaxing. Man, I appreciate you saying so. See, that's actually a compliment. I appreciate that. I don't know what to take here, but uh, I'm leaning towards Pluto Delta. I'm going to take the Delta. It leaves us the most open. And now we can take a Demir Signet or an, a Civic Signet or... Probably just a Demir Signet, right? Um, none of these cards. Yeah, I'll take a Demir Signet. I'm going to put it in the main deck, though. That's where I like to keep my Signets. Mine's Desire, huh? Also, Sylvan Library. Got a Keekums McJeekums that we could have taken if we went with that Zealous Conscripts. Inkwell Leviathan, huh? Hmm. What if Foothills is somewhat awkward because it, it's like two completely different colors from our polluted Delta? There's an Oko when you need it. Hmm. This is actually a tough pick. I actually, there's a bunch of different ways to go here. I think I'm leaning towards Sylvan Library, to be quite honest. Oh, and then we get rewarded with a Primeval Titan? Oh, dear. Man. <laughs> Okie dokie. If Euro, Euro might even come back, depending on how much respect people have. Thrag Tusk might as well. So could Gruel Signet. All right. Well... Seems okay. I mean, Sorolf is just fine, right? It's a 3 3 for 3 at worst, then, like, it gets big. All right, so Soltai is, is calling us a little bit. Recurring Nightmare is good, but actually, maybe we could be a Recurring Nightmare deck. Let's Recurring Nightmare. This is a solid first six picks. I'm, I'm pretty okay with it. I like a Eugene. Let's take a Eugene here, especially with Primeval Titan. Uh, two cards are coming back. Elder and Rashad and Port are my guess. I just wrote an article about how much I hate Bone Shredder. I'm going to put a Citic Slime in here. That's the thing. Well, I'm definitely glad we went with green because since there's not very many blue or black cards here, I guess we'll take Fraley's. Um... I don't think we're a damnation deck. We might be just a harmonized deck, though. Three cards is three cards. This murderous rider coming back is kind of nice. Thank you. Old Man Silver, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Old Man Silver. <laughs> 
the chicken shredder. Pairs nice with pork puller. Yeah, man, those are the uh, things. Whatever that means. What is he saying? Nobody knows. Oh, wow. Euro and Thrag Test came back. Sure. I'll take a Euro. Yeah, I'll take a Biogenic Ooze. Well, it makes me want to be a better human. Well, you know what they say. Oh, look, you have my elder came back. Oh, boy. <laughs> that's an ancestral recall. And we're passing a mana drain, so that's unfortunate. Well... At least it's only a tundra and not like a land that's good for us. I mean, we're just taking ancestral recall. Let's let's not be let's not be crazy. So. Owner of the loan. What's what's painful? Was the painful part uh, passing the mana drain? Because I agree with you. It's not it's not ideal, but so the the pleasure of picking an ancestral recall outweighs the pain of passing a mana drain. That's really what it comes down to. Upheaval. I don't feel like we're upheavaling. I do feel like we're hissing quagmiring. I don't think we're Finhorn Elvesing either. This isn't a deck where you want like. Oh, uh, this is a Brotherhood of Steel hoodie from Fallout. I want to take hissing quagmire. It's definitely not Cradle. You just sound like a dummy. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> There's nothing, I feel like there's nothing more enjoyable to me personally than than just utterly wrecking standard B whenever I get the chance. It's just, it's just a good time, you know? Creeping tar pit. We want our mana to be good. So my article for this week, I actually wrote it this morning, which is earlier than I usually do. And, um... <laughs> And um, I actually wrote it about um, cube cards I think can go. And Prime Speaker Vanifar is definitely one of them. That card is trash. Have you ever heard the saying that if you put enough Lepores in a room full of MTG cards, eventually they'll all build salt time? Yeah, that's actually a classic. <laughs> that was a classic saying. Maybe it's Hangerback Walker because we have Recurring Nightmare. Uh, Iona is not only because it does have a home in reanimate decks. Like I think it's fine in that. Like there's definitely a black white reanimate deck where you can play Iona, you can play Ashen Rider, and you can get them back. Whereas like this, like no one, I don't think anyone's ever activated a Vanifar to get rid of their, like to get rid of one creature and get another one with it. Like it just doesn't happen. It's not a real thing. Like, the reason being, like, same thing with Birthing Pod. Birthing Pod and Vanifar are both on my list. And the reason is because, like, they're just... Even a deck like this. Look, where we have? We have a three drop that's never going to be in play. Like, you're rarely going to have this in play. Like, you're not playing this on curve. You're not playing this on curve. So we can play one Sorrel. We have one three drop creature. And then we have no four drops. We have one five drop and one six drop. So it's like, this isn't a two drop, you know? So it's like... It, the, the way the cube is built, it's very, very awkward. Oh, that's a late demonic tutor. Holy crap. That's a late demonic tutor. I'm going to take it because it's a good card. Overgrown Tomb. You got it. We can get that with Delta. You got it. Through the Breach came back? I'm going to take this Vorinclex. Hey, Finhorn Elves came back. That's kind of cool. That's a playable card. Green Sun Zenith. We can get Cyril if we can get Elves. We can get Acidic Slime. Primeval Titan. Sure.
Oh, look, I was literally going to take this Liliana, and then it came back, so that's cool. So did the Prime Speaker, of course, because no one cares about that card. Like, and since we since we talked about it, I've added one... I've added no two-drop creatures, no three-drop creatures, one four-drop creature, no five-drop creatures, and one six-drops. Like, it's just... The, the cards don't line up. Like, it, it's very difficult to build a deck in cube that has such a high concentration of creatures across the entire curve. Wow, that's a late Assassin's Trophy that I will gladly take and play. Our deck's looking very good. And speaking of the cube trap, I also have show and tell. I actually like Eureka in the cube. I think it's good. Not good. It's good in the sense that, like, it's a, it's, it's a good cube card, right? Like, there's definitely been times where I have, like, Ugin, Crater Hoof, Avenger of Zendikar, Woodfall Primus, and Eldrazi in my deck. The trap with show and tell is that all your opponent needs is one answer, one Sower of Temptation, one... Uh, oblivion ring, whatever, right? All I need is one because you're only putting one threat into play. But Eureka, you can actually build around and have like a bunch of different threats. And if you put like two, three, four threats into play and they put two into play, you're still coming out ahead. And I've definitely had tons of Eureka games where I'm able to uh, out Eureka them, so to speak. I think we're just taking Courser here, especially with Sylvan Library. If Bloodstained Mire or Primus comes back, that would be nice. Is it worth taking Emrakul and hoping we hit something crazy? See, and again, like, Recurring Nightmare is great, but, like, again, we just don't have a Recurring Nightmare deck here. I kind of just want Birds of Paradise. The problem is we have nothing to do with Emrakul right now and really hoping to hit a channel after the first two picks in pack three, and that's kind of rough. Otherwise, it just doesn't do anything for us because Tooth and Nail is taken out of the cube, and I don't understand. I'm not sure it's necessarily cowardice. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take Eternal Witness here. I mean, we have Demonic Tutor and Ancestral Recall. Plus, being able to get Eternal Witness back with uh, Recurring Nightmare seems decent if we if we go that route. Not going to take Crater Hoof here. I'm, I am going to take Treachery, though because that's a good card. It's funny that our only blue cards are literally Euro, which is all right. Treachery, which is great, and Ancestral, which is fantastic. Those are our... I kind of like Heartless Act here. But we're just not a hoof deck. Like, we have 11 creatures right now. <laughs> Two of them are six drops. Uh, one of them is a 1-1. One -one. Like, we're just not a hoof deck. I am tempted to take Ulamog here just because, again, like, well, I don't know. I don't think we're hitting a channel. I guess there's no real point. I think it's Looter or Heartless Act here. What do we have for removal? Murderous Rider, Chupacabra, and Assassin's Trophy? I think we're just taking Looter. <clears throat> I do like a Looter quite a bit. I like a Karn here, actually. That's a nice card advantage card. Elves of Deep Shadow. Let's take a casualties. I actually think casualties is pretty solid. Uh, I have considered uh, seeing if I can get my own vintage cube put on MTGO. Uh, Bitter Blossom is great with Recurring Nightmare. Leovold is great with this color combination that we're playing. So I'm probably going to go Leovold. Yeah, that seems fine. Phantasmal Image also real strong. We'll take a Phantasmal Image here. Oh, Woodfall Primus did come back. Also, Cosima came back. 
I think I just want Woodfall Primus here. Duretti seems great. <laughs> uh, I'll take Sword of Fire and Ice. Turn Timber Symbiosis is sweet. That's just a free land. That's what Papa likes. We have 20... We have to cut five cards. I think we are cutting Recurring Nightmare. I think we're cutting Harmonize because we already have Ancestral. I think we're cutting Hanger back. Cut Animate Dead. I'm not really caring about Animate Dead too much. Just got done upgrading my car's headlights. Let me tell you, Ford's engineers aren't the brightest bunch. So many unnecessary steps. Hey, look, Ulamog came back. Unfortunately, didn't see that channel, though. Hey, Shane Lanny. Sure. Dun, 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 dun. Elves of Deep Shadow. All right, let's see what the last card is. Headlights are bright, though. Touche. Palancron, huh? We still need one cut here. Hmm. I kind of feel like it's Liliana. Boron Clex is interesting. We have Karn, so it puts 10 counters on Karn. If we can go Boron Clex into Ugin, that's a pretty sweet combination. That's a that's a combination move. I mean, we're as likely to have blue mana early as, as any other color, really. Like, we have Creeping Tar Pit, Polluted Delta, we have Demir Signet, and, like, I mean, we have seven blue sources compared to 12 black sources. It's not completely unreasonable. I mean, the Corsair, the the uh, the Liliana's nice because we can discard it with something with Looter and just get it back, like Woodfall Primus or Vorin Clex, which is kind of cool. Maybe it's Casualties of War. Uh, Sorolf is a 3-3 three, three for 3. Whenever a permanent goes in, an opponent controls, goes to the graveyard from the battlefield, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. So, like, if they crack a fetch land, like, it becomes a 4-4. Four, four. And then, if it has one or more counters, you may remove all of them. If you do exile each other non-land permanent, less than or equal to the number of counters removed this way. <laughs> God. Oh, God, Badger, Why? It's so painful. Um, I don't know. I think it's casualties right now. And then we can board it in if they have enough targets for it. All right. So turn timber symbiosis. So pile the color. Try land. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got here. 
It's impeccable. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten green. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight black. Three, four, five, six blue. Cut here, add another blue. So four, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seems really good. Seven, eight, nine. That's why Nine was afraid of seven. Oh, good. Apparently, they didn't like it when I went the extra mile. Oh, boy. Like you do. All right, let's do it. Man, can you imagine if we had that mana drain? That'd be cool. This hand looks sweet, though. In remote parts of Australia, there are no lighted airstrips to guide pilots of Royal Flying Doctor Service for night landings. So when such airstrips run out of flares, they put 30 toilet rolls along the edge and set them on fire. That actually makes a lot of sense. I feel like you could also just put lighted airstrips down, but. During America's prohibition, doctors could prescribe alcohol as a treatment. Ooh, let's go with the blue one. For a variety of conditions. A year later, the U.S. Congress had pa had to pass a law to prevent physicians from prescribing beer. Uh, that's, a, that's a thing right there. Oh, America. Oh, good. Oh, goody. Mm, let's play Leovaldo, followed by Quagarino. I mean, having Murderous Rider in hand when they have Pestermite is pretty good. <coughs> in 1849, enslaved American Henry Brown boxed himself up and mailed himself to a state where slavery was legal. He left the box of Freeman. That's actually incredible. How is that real? The more evangelical Christians there are in a U.S. state, the more Google searches there are for male enhancement and enlargement product. Because, of course, there are. Black, 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 blue, blue. I wonder if we just a phantasmal image here. Copy power to or less or toughness to or less. It's probably got to be power, right? What can we get? We can get an eternal witness, which is kind of cool. Hmm. Eternal witness. I'm trying to think if there's any situation where the, the toughness is better. I don't think so. Is there any creature where the toughness would have mattered? I literally don't think so, no. Okay, cool. So... Um, 
Kind of like Courser here, actually. Maybe just playing Courser is the right the right choice. Because I don't think we have to actually... Oh, yeah. I don't think we have to actually keep up mana for Pestermite here because, I mean, they're not going to be able to play Pestermite and also kill us this turn. Unless they go Pestermite, untap a land, mana crypt, land, kiki-jiki. So if those are three of your seven cards, then then you know in my face all right all right and i'll just play a land maybe maybe we'll just attack who knows what's gonna happen I mean, I'm pretty sure we're drawing cards here. Dang it. I mean, this murderous rider is keeping us alive, I'm sure. You got it. Tap in my lens. Let's do this before you can untap your blue source. You know, all my little my things over here. Mm-hmm. Mm. Special. You got it. Euro on the top. Okay. Do we think they have Deceiver Exarch in hand? That's the question. Because if they do, we're probably dead. Let's get rid of Swamp. Probably just overgrown tomb. Oh, Ugin off the top? <laughs> yeah, that seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you. Hell of a dude. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Oh, maybe we should have played Acidic Slime to kill one of their red sources. I think that would have actually kept us alive. I feel like we're dead. No. And unfortunately, we put a land into play from its from our just from our hand rather than so we're kind of uh Yeah. And if they have Deceiver Exarch in hand, plus Splinter Twin or Kiki Jiki, and they don't. Okay, we are safe. At least for the moment. On this day in 1869, Hiram R. Revels makes first official speech by an African American in the Senate. Okay, now they have a lot of red sources. Finally, on this day in 1926, Jerry, Jerry Lewis, American comedian, Martin and Lewis, MDA Telethon, was born in Newark, New Jersey. Oh, wow. 
Jerry Lewis just died recently, actually. You know what? I will draw two extra cards. Big, tr big treachery, huh? Um, hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I just want to Ugin here. Like, if they didn't have it last turn, they did draw an extra two cards since then, though. Jeez. And this completes the lessons for the day. <laughs> oh, Badger is very educational. I wish we didn't stick the treachery on top, but I don't think it really matters. Actually, we could have stolen this guy. <sighs> Man, for some reason, I'm playing really terribly. And I have been for the past couple weeks. Yeah, Kiki Jiki is three red. It might still be correct to Acidic Slime. With double recruiter, this definitely feels like Kiki Jiki Dick. Sure. Did it again. All right. Two counters. Well, we are going to attack and discard forest here, so that seems fine. All right. Well, we're at 22. Let's see if we're dead to Deceiver XR Splinter Twin. Nope. All right. Oh, they're going to take two. See, that's rough because now they could have Deceiver XR Kiki Jiki in hand. And then we're dead. Okay, that's not what they... Okay, that's actually fine. No. You still have a library? Yeah, okay. Oh, Demonic Tutor, I like. Um, put on top. Pay for. Let's see what we can hit first. I kind of just want Assassin's Trophy because it keeps us protected. It's not exciting, but... One, two, three, four, five. Can I have this guy? The answer is no. Oh boy. I mean, this is a big Sir Rolf right now. <sighs> 
Okay. Sure. They didn't draw off of Omnath, keep in mind, because of because of Leovold. Okay. Sure. <laughs> draw a card. Sounds good. Oh, they bounced the Sorolf. I thought they were bouncing the Leovold. Okay. Well, that does it, I guess. Yeah, I mean, next time we get to Treachery, steal Omnath, Ugin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the uh, Leovold's a hell of a drug. Was that better than Bitter Blossom? Maybe. I mean, I feel like with casualties, we could probably kill a Planeswalker. The only Planeswalker we really saw was Chase. We kill a land and a creature. I mean, we can kill, try to kill a clue, but they might just crack it in response, which is not the best value. I mean, with both Imperial Recruiter and Recruiter of the Guard in their deck, I feel like they're going to have to have a Kiki Jiki. I do kind of like Animate Dead, to be honest, because we're killing a lot of other things. I'm just going to submit like this. The point is, I don't, I can't let my guard down because, like, as soon as I let my guard down, they're just going to have it and kill us. So, like, it's just, I think it's just better to play around. So we go up to nine cards and 10 cards. We play a card, play a two drop. I like, honestly, I'm not a big fan of the turn two ancestral recall when your hand has a bunch of stuff in it that, that does things. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, a lot of people be like, oh, uh, during, during your upkeep, I will ancestral draw three cards. But then, like, if I have to discard, there's no point. I'm just losing a card. Then it just, it, it becomes compulsive research instead of ancestral hmm I kind of like demonic tutor here though I mean I kind of like demonic tutor a lot I guess I guess we're just going to play looter and then play polluted delta we can put Liliana back I just don't think we need to pay four here. We're going to take four next turn as well, so. Uh, recruiter, sure. I mean, there's also, like, th there's very little reason to put Pester Might in your deck if you're not playing. Kiki Jiki. Let's get Overgrown Tomb. Um, doesn't really matter there. I think we're just getting rid of Ugin here. Actually, let's get rid of Demir Signet. I mean, Ugin is a card where, like, if you have it in the late game, it's very, very good, obviously. And, like, we have Ancestral to hit land drops. And we just want, and we kind of just want to keep Murderous Rider up anyway to Grim Monolith. Yorion. Blink Romano, Blink Recruiter. It's fine, I guess. Okay, so they got Pester Mile. Let's see what else they got. Kiki Jiki. <clears throat> Get that Jeeks.
Huntmaster is a solid dude. Hmm. Well. Awkward. Okay, we did hit a land. I kind of wanted to Acidic Slime and kill this, but that doesn't seem like a thing that's going to be working. Okay. I think we're just going to discard Island and play Courser here. Nice. Okay. That's, that works for me. I mean, this is a real tap an island for red, tap Grimonolith, play Pestermine. Okay, they're just not going to do that. So I was going to say this is a real uh, tap this for red, play Pestermite, untap this, tap for two more red, play Kiki Kiki, kill us. Mm hmm. Two, three, four, five. So we know they have Pestermite in hand. Okay. Okay. Two, three. If you could live anywhere in the country, um... I'm actually a big California fan, to be quite honest. Put on top. We're going to keep the, z the zenith. We could play land from hand. Play green sun for two. That doesn't do anything, though. I kind of like just playing Eternal Witness here. Oh, yeah, definitely. But I mean, like, what I thought you meant was, like, cost of living not being a factor. Oh, you like how I played this in such a way that I can't actually cast Murderous Rider? That's smart. Yep, see, Chan is hard, man. Anyone who's, like, streaming is really good. The Twitch chat's really good. I'm just like, no, dude, that shit distracts me like crazy. Sure. Um, let's pitch. It's probably Green Sun. God, if we just really just lost this game because I just tapped incorrectly, I'm going to feel real dumb. Okay. I mean, we could always say Ancestral and hope to hit... An assassin's trophy but we know one of the cards so we have a two out of 17 chance okay this is also a board where Ugin is very good there it is there it is yep I'm feeling real dumb right now
Ugh, so bad. So fucking bad. I just threw this game away by not keeping the correct mana up. That's so stupid. It's really frustrating. I'll keep it. I think we can... Our odds of finding a greener. Not terrible. Green card. Green next turn would be great. Then we just get to roll right into five mana. Ha! Huh, nailed it. Never didn't have that. Even like a hissing quagmire. You got it. Mm, not a hissing quagmire, but that's okay. Green source one time. Oof, that's exactly what we wanted. I mean, next time we can also green sun for Leovold or just play, yeah, we'll probably just play Primeval Titan to be quite honest. <laughs> Proof of the simulation. <laughs> Well, you know, sometimes you ask for a green source and you get it. We're still, I mean, Jace still puts us behind a little bit. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well... I mean, if they're using, <laughs> fantastic. Oh, mana leak. This deck is very strange. This old chestnut again, eh? Took point, huh? Five mana. That's pretty good. I think we should still have a decent plan right now, though.
Shut up and take my money. Hell of a dude. Been watching for many years on YouTube. About time I said the Thank you so much, dude. Oh, man. That's amazing. Wow, you're a hell of a dude. <laughs> I appreciate that so much, man. Dang. Dang. So, man. Man, what a hell of a dude. We're going to green sun for three. We're going to get a Leovold, and then we're going to actually Phantasmage the Yorion. That makes it so they can't bounce their own Yorion. And we can blink the Acidic Slime with the new Yorion. To kill their Grim Monolith. Or maybe we actually just kill one of their blue sources. Yeah, let's just kill this blue red source. I mean, I don't care about the generic mana. Like, they've given me a lot of impressions that it doesn't really matter. Hell of a dude. Thank you so much, man. Wow, that's wild. Dude, that's insane. Really, really appreciate it. How many meatball parms will $1,400 get me? I mean, a good amount. I would say an average of $7 a parm. 1400 so probably like 200 divided by seven yeah 200 about 200 i would say give or take probably between 175 and 225 depending on the quality or the lack thereof contained in the meatball parms that's my guess who'd they target with the stupid target themselves they put it on the bottom they didn't like it they're like i don't like it Our hand is pretty sparse right now, unfortunately. And they can, like... Hmm. Like, they can pester might kill our Yorian, which is kind of sad. We do get to draw a card, though, which is pretty decent. I mean, vintage cube is hard, man. There's always a ton of options. How many one dollar ta how many one dollar tacos will fourteen hundred dollars get you? Well, you have to assume each taco is actually about a dollar eight due to tax, let's say. So we'll go fourteen hundred divided by one point oh eight. Is that right? About twelve hundred and ninety six, give or take. Pepperjack meatball goodness. Disgusting. That's not what we're looking for. We're going to attack first because they're probably going to kill our Yorion. So not enough is what you're saying. Yeah, that was my... That was the point I was trying to make. Oh, interesting. They're just going to go to Oon. Oh, fascinating. They have five cards, and I'm kind of terrified that they're going to combo us out. 
I can't even play Primeval Titan realistically because if they just go like Pester might tap a second black source. Yep. I think they're just untapping their own monolith. Okay. Well, all right, that doesn't do it. And let's see if we're just straight up losing two games in a row to Splinter Twin. I wish they targeted... Oh, yeah, I guess they, if they targeted us last turn, we would have known because we would have drawn a card, so... A meatball parm taco. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, every turn they play a stupid mentor is better for us because it's like, well, that's one fewer things that you can... All right, all this is fine. This is just a bunch of turds. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm real tempted to prime time here. <sighs> I have two cards, dude. Is that good enough? I don't know. Wait, actually. Actually. Here's what we're going to do. Now we're talking. I mean, they could bounce our Euro, but we still get to draw a card and block the Geist or the Mentor. I don't know if we'd be blocking the Mentor, though. Are you bouncing my my Leovold? You got it. Face fetters on Euro, huh? So they're going to actually attack. We're going to Assassin's Trophy the Faith's Fetters. And then we're going to wake me up inside. Hmm. Probably this guy. I'm more scared of this guy than the stupid Geist of St. Traft. Delta. How close am I to finishing my cube? Um, eight cards away, I think.
Son is the son of a sailor. I'm going to the COD store after this. I need a Wheel of Fortune, actually. I still have yet to pick up a Wheel of Fortune. I'm pretty sure Wheel of Fortune was not printed in 4th edition, so I don't know what you have, my friend, but that is not a real thing that exists. Yeah, the last, the last whiteboarded printing of Wheel of Fortune was in Revised. Yeah, you can tell the difference. Fourth edition has the copyright underneath. It'll say like 1994 or whatever the whatever the copyright was. Um, and uh, revised just has the, you know, the the date, <laughs> or not the date. That just has the the artist name rather. Illustration at copyright 1994 or whatever, or illustration copyright Daniel Gillen or whatever the. So Choops is nice because we can just get Pesterman off the board indefinitely here. And they don't have mana for commit to memory. They have one card in hand. Okay, so getting getting Pesterman off the board is actually pretty comforting. Uh, no, unfortunately. Yeah, summer, summer anything is pretty sweet. My goal would be to, to... Is this game one? Is this round one still? Holy smokes, man. This has been... For, this is taking forever. Yeah, if they wanted to trade all three of those for this guy, I'd be more than okay with that. Man, it didn't come out. That was frustrating. Um, I feel like it's prime time here. But, like, the problem is we have 15. And, like, this puts us down to 13. Cracking this puts us down to 12. Jace bouncing us. This is a May ability? Yeah, it's okay. That's good. We just have to figure out a way to close the game out. I guess we have a Ugin in our deck somewhere. We also do have like five minutes on the clock. So do they, though. Anyway, it's game three. This is taking a while. Um, let's get Tar Pit and Forest. Easy pass. This is where they go Deceiver X Arc, and then they do have Splinter Twin, and you're just like, what? No. Wait, destroy an enchantment? Oh. Um, yeah, I'll just use it. I'll draw. Sure. Oh, they have no cards in hand. That's good for us, actually. Especially with Leovold on board. I mean, we're not going to fail to find yet. I'm just concerned with like, 
the consistent amount of cards we have left to They said they said I punted. Me too, buddy. Me too. Yeah, this guy's gonna flip. I could murderous rider it, but I I almost at a point where I'd rather murderous rider the Jace. Yep, that's good. Okay. Well, <laughs> do we just negative four? No, that doesn't seem great. One, two, three. Activate this guy. Oh, I did that before anything else. That's kind of funny. Attack Jace, attack Jace. Attack Jace. This should kill Jace. This is not a May ability. I'm actually going to leave whatever lands in the deck. Commit to memory of the Primeval Titan. Now I'll draw because prime time is just going back anyway. Mm, no. Well, we do have more time on the clock now, which is nice. Oh yeah, definitely do that for sure. So everything's dead. Yeah, they have no cards in hand. This is brutal. Okay. Yeah, we can just kill the, the Jace and they have one card. I mean, they can activate Needle Spires, but at that point, I mean, I'll probably just let it go through. So, wow, what a grind, dude. What an absolute grind. Grind Arena. That was a grinder ruski. You ain't kidding, buddy. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I like this. Um, it unfortunately this is not a signet that's gonna allow us to cast a Courser on turn two. Because no matter what, we're going to have to use one of our green mana to filter through the Signet. I'm going to lose to my two favorite walker, New Tibbers and Splashyok. Oh, well. Why do people call Splashyok? I mean, he's, he's, he's just as splashable as any other Planeswalker, right? I don't really understand it, I guess. Baby, that makes me a dub-dub. I'm just going to play Corsair here. Because he makes you want to splash. That doesn't even make any sense. He doesn't, though. Like, it doesn't... Like, the thing is, like... It's not a Planeswalker that you're like, this goes really... Wow, I should have definitely filtered mana through this. I guess I was not expecting days off of that... Off of that configuration. That's... Kind of hilarious and, and kind of an amateur move on my part. But... What can you do? No. That's really that's really unfortunate. Let's 
get in there, do the do the deed. Oof, I like it. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get rid of a green here. Okay, as long as like they don't play anything at the end of my turn, I'm just like, okay, good. You know, the blue, the blue red deck, you know? Oh, Choops on Choops hate crimes. Yeah, kill that looter. I got a Sylvan Library. I'm pretty much okay with this. Three, four, five, six. Oof, come on, put it on top. Might as well get in there. You want to trade with your Choop Daddy? Choop Daddy on Choop Daddy? Hmm. That's a free card as far as I'm concerned, buddy. That's pretty good. Let's get Eternal Witness off the top here. <laughs> oh, man. How does he do it? How does he do it? I really want a phantasmal image, copy this, eternal witness, get back choops and kill it. I mean, double slime seems pretty bad when they have Inferno Titan. Especially when one of us, they look, deal one to this, deal two to this. Tag you for six. And I'm like, okay, you got it. Put on top, put on top. I mean, I think getting that guy off the board is probably the best course of action here, so. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Hell of a dude. Fair to finish your gold. Time for a new... Oh, man. Fucking... That is a hell of a dude. What an unbelievable dude. More like, you should change your name to unbelievable dude. Dude, hell of a dude. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. That is amazing. I get to live in my house for another month. Oh, God. I'm so grateful. Seriously, thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. That's freaking awesome. And now I can. I'm going to change. Now we're going to the March rent. So it's a little late, I know, but that's fine. Dude, thank you for, 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 for serious. For real. For real and for serious.
zero and after, I don't know, zero, four, Shut up and take my money. Well, what's happening? Things are happening. One March buck. All right, now I got to start this with one bone from old Chorwood himself. Start that goal. Crack that whip. Phantasmal image. I didn't even know that was there. That's wild. You still have a library's ability. For sure, man. Oof. Big oof. Three, four, five, one, two. Oh my God. I don't know what this does. I this was a not this is poor playing. I was very distracted. I really wanted to. What do we do here? Let's just get in there with these guys. That's what I was hoping they do, because I really wanted to be able to go Phantasmal Image on the Eternal Witness and get back Leovold, Ravenous Chupacabra, what have you. Frost Titan? Mole Drifter. That's okay. Hell of a dude. Thank you so much, man. When people are super generous and they, don they, they donate a ton, like I actually just like feel like there's nothing I can say that's like adequate to... like communicate how much I appreciate the support, you know? It's really, it's a weird feeling where I'm like, oh my God, that's super generous. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for everything. I I can't cut Mole Drifter. Like it's, it's, it's too good at three mana. It's too good at five mana. It's good with things like Yorion, Resto. It has a lot of synergies. It's just a very good card. And they've printed a Borderless one and they printed an old Shut frame one. So there's no way I'm going to be able to put take mall drifter out some elf a hole thank you kyle for the for the for the one april buck i appreciate you guys off to a good start <laughs> um i kind of just want to boring clicks here i also kind of just want to leave to be honest with you Good, 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 Gotti. I can also play this and attack with Creeping Tar Pit. Which puts them as a, like they have to block, otherwise they go to four. But then we go to, we go to eight, they attack for two. If they have two burn spells in hand, we die. That seems a little ambitious, right? So my blue five drops, I'll take a look at them right now while we're, while we're cubing. My blue five drops are Moldrifter and Riftwing Cloudscape. And then for spells, we have Force of Will, Mystic Confluence, Bribery, Time Warp, and Treachery. Those are all my fives. Uh, there's one Planeswalker, Tezzeret the Seeker as well. Those are all my fives, which are pretty standard. They're pretty standard fives. God, I'm really just like playing this or not to play this. I think it's not to play this. Like, I don't want to lie. I don't want to like lose to two burn spells. And if we go to eight, they automatically know like they can put us to six. We're all tapped out. So. Oh boy. They're like, no, nah, I can cast my triple red card. This feels like an Ugin? No, this does not actually. Oh, it's just a main phase Facker, Facker Fiction. A Facker Fiction. 
Let's give you Rift and Treachery in one pile, because these are both five drops. Okay, so you took Snap, Field, and Power Stone. The only thing you can snap back is Inferno. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was going to say Inferno Side. Incinerate is what I meant. All right, well. Uh, Sword of Fire and Ice against the blue-red deck. I think so. I think so. Hmm. Casualties does not seem great. Primal Command actually does seem pretty decent. They have kind of a little burn package. Plus, it gets rid of something like treachery. I feel the same. I watch you so much that you feel like you get to know them. I only give because you've truly earned it. You have provided me with ample content to watch on May Night. That's all I ask for, man. That's all I ask for. I appreciate you saying so. What to cut, though? Maybe a Liliana. Let's cut Karn, actually. Karn's pretty poop. Especially because we don't have many artifact synergies. I think we got like two artifacts. Okie dokie. I only watch during the day. Yeah, that's because at night David's living in his house of shadow and it's harder to see uh, things on the TV. On the TV. Is this a keeper? No. That's a keeper, though. Overgrown tomb. Oh, yeah, this is... This is what they call the tits. He gets it. <laughs> he truly understands me. Yield until the next end step. I will counter this. No, you won't. Shut up. Dummy. Oh, man. I love it. I love an evoked mall drifter on three because then I'm like, I get to do whatever I want. And what I want. Uncle Leo. Jerry. I was hoping that you pushed Moochel into the snow on his video. No, it was funny enough that he sat in that chair, which had like 12 inches of snow on it. So. Hmm. That's rude. Do we have any creatures that can like, do we have, can we, can we detutor for something? What about a green sun for four? What does that get us? I don't think anything. Green sun for three can get us Ewit. I also love Assassin's Trophy on Leovold here because they get to draw a card, but they don't get to land. So that's pretty cool. Um... We can go looter D tutor. It also gives us a gooder a gooder idea of what to get with uh, Green Sun next turn. Cheaper cover is a four drop, but we're not going to be getting it with a Green Sun Zenith. That is not how that works, unfortunately. Let's just go looter and trophy this idiot. Solemn Simulacrum. Okay, so they have four cards. We're going to have four cards. They have three cards. We're going to have four cards. Hmm. 
Actually, let's go get coarser. I kind of like that. Or we can go get something for five, which is just acidic slime. Yeah, I think three is the is the ticket here. Oh, we can't actually get something for five. That's not how that works at all. So we'll go for three. Okay, so six drop, six drop, five drop, and then all these guys. Let's just get coarser here. Nice. Rewarded. Ooh, Liliana next turn into... Uh, and to get Leovold back is nice. I have to assume they have some sort of Splinter Twin nonsense here, right? Like... Or Inferno Titan. Well, that's actually fine. That doesn't do much. <laughs> oh, boy. Sack four lands. One, two, three, four. Seems good. I guess. Just got a basic land here. Or we can get Ancestral. Play that next turn. I'm just gonna, I just wanna hit land drops here. Any land lets us play Choops and this lets us play Murderous Rider, so. Okay, well. This is a weird choice. Sure. Um, put Burgie and Riftwing in a pile. Yeah, this feels fine. Yep. Sure. Burgi and Island have been played. Or uh Solring Island rather. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is it. Yep. To be fair, if we got Ancestral, we would have hit Vorinclex, Treachery, and one other card. Hmm. Wildfire and burning in the deck. Seems interesting. Treachery's gone for good now, so that's good to know. And we would have, we would have hit these three off of Ancestral Recall, so we would not have had any lands. Oh, what up, Dans, with the capital U and what's up? <laughs> oh, boy. We have a good time. What is this they're doing? Who knows? Could be anything. They only have two cards in their hand. Sure. Are they going to deck themselves? I don't know what's going on. Do they have a win condition, you think? Oh, that's a big boy. Up is a movie by Pixar. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, they just that guy just died. All right. Well. Brokey dokey. Well, this is the only guy we can play. Our hand is very good if we hit one more land. I'm sure the next land will he'll be creeping tar pit, but Out of blue red, I don't think we have to worry about Inferno Titan never coming back. So that's reassuring. Emrakul's also in the graveyard. I mean we could they could time twister, I guess, or, or time spiral.
Um, that looks like lands to me. Let's see if I'm right. I was kind of right, maybe. <laughs> a little bit. Let's see if this guy's a land, huh? Come on, one time. Don't do me dirty. Oh, you didn't. You did me so good. Turn timber, serpent wood. No, we'll just take the... Kinda, in a way. I got six mana. What can we do with six mana? Oh god, what is this they're doing? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's like nine mana. Snapcaster. For burning of Zinni again. What? Why are you like this? But you like you lose all your pressure. I don't understand. I guess this is fun for people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like, we still have a lot more lands in our deck. Demir's saying that's super awkward with... Okay. Well, you have five cards left in your deck. Are you just going to incinerate me here? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okie dokie. Okay, well, we're going to be discarding something, I guess. Like, we should still have eight lands in our deck and our 14 cards. Like, theoretically, we should be able to draw some lands, but... Like, how do they win in, like, four cards here? I don't understand. Inferno Titan's gone. I mean, Frost Titan would do it. Sure. This guy's not bad. I don't think we have a green two drop, which is kind of weird. But we'll sort, I guess. They only have one red, so they can't actually Splinter Twin or Kiki Jiki if they have it. So we got a five here. Land. Fuck. All right, now we go to two. Not having a two mana green creature is pretty rough here. I did say land. I mean, if they have one more burn spell for two, we're dead. So, Snapcasters in the graveyard, so that's good. They apparently did not. The problem is, if they have any counterspell for this guy, then we're dead. And it becomes the most grueling, lucky game I've ever seen. Well, it is not that so far, I guess. <laughs> is it possible they don't have another win condition in their last two cards? Or are they just going to win most slam like Thunder Maw Hellkite? Okay, they just... What in the fuck? I'm going to wildfire twice, then then lose the match because I have no win conditions left. Okie dokie. All right. All right, let's see if we can... Oh, shit, there's a database error. Dang it. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll do this. We keep drawing these six drops. I once saw a guy bowl a 300. I don't think I've ever seen someone bowl a 300. Like, I've never been a party to that. 300 is, I, I feel like 300 is pretty rare.
I watched 300 once. Oh, wait, his name is actually Database Sir. <laughs> oh, this is what's known as a gaudy Brett. <laughs> he didn't even know. He was totally blindsided by my gaudy. Give me a land. I accept. Lumbering into Sacred Foundry, man. What is this? Sure. Whatever, bro. Wow, that's a that's a pretty decent play when they have nothing on board. Swamp or Eternal Witness? I bet they give me that swamp, to be honest with you. They might give me Eternal Witness because there's nothing in the graveyard. Huh. Huh. What is this deck? What is what? Brad, did you just get here? Well, that's something right there. Oh my god! Oh my god! We have two five drops. One of which would be amazing because it lets us put a second planeswalker on the board. Get rid of the face fetters and activate Karn. But instead, it's a hissing quagmire. And that's kind of hilarious. That's kind of hilarious. I want to be honest, man. Bowling scores to me are kind of a mystery. Like, they're really complex. Well, that's pretty good. Don't really have a way to deal with that, unfortunately. Hey, we drew a way to deal with that. That's pretty good. Well, they still get two cards out of it, but, you know, what are you going to do? Right at the end of the hell match. That makes sense, because you did say 10 grindy subs. So it's all coming together now. They have a lot more mana than we do, and I don't know what, why that is. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I guess it's because we've missed land drops, but, you know. Oh dear. Hmm. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Frailies. Life has no meaning for me. There's beauty up above. I'm not going to attack because we can protect our planeswalkers this way. No, we can't. I was just kidding. Oh, we still can because they 
lightning helix to our frailies. That's basically a two for one though. Got rid of an oath and a lightning helix. The chicken bacon ranch flatbread at my bowling alley is literally my favorite pizza. Man, that's such, that's the most American sounding pizza ever. We got bacon, we got ranch, put some chicken on it too. Put it on a pizza. When chicken bacon flatbread's on a pizza, you can have chicken bacon flatbread every time. Um, I think we just assassins trophy this, to be honest with you. I'm gonna play this big wolf. And then I'm gonna kill this pretty lady. And I'm gonna hope it resolves. And it's not, that's, okay, sure, you got it. They can get all the lands they want. I mean, our goal is to Ugin and negative four to kill everything, and then we also get to get our Karn back because it doesn't have a color. I guess we could also just cast Primeval Titan next turn if we had a land. We could Liliana get back Sorulf. Oh boy. If they're going at Karn, I'm just gonna probably. They might just be going at face. They might just be getting super aggressive because they don't have very much hand going on. Hey, they are going face. All right, well, I'm not blocking this. Come on, lands. No, actually, I don't. Actually, I don't necessarily need a land here, right? I mean, we're gonna play Primeval Titan, I'm sure. And we're gonna get a Creeper and an Overgrown. No, I'm good without that two life. Next turn we can Ugin negative four. That's pretty legit. Or we can just Ugin and plus and, you know, we can not care about Karn. I mean, if they're not expecting an Ugin and they just play something into it, it's pretty good for us. Okay. Man, they took two. They're really getting aggro with these lands here. I guess we're going to five. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we're just gonna play like this. Uh, we're not attacking because we're at five. And we want two blockers for their stupid lands. Oh, my lands aren't stupid. Ugh. Actually, they are. One, two, three, four, activate. Okay, well, I guess they can attack us for three here. That was unfortunate. 
<coughs> we could also play Vornclex, make a token, and plus Ugin. Oh, we're not going to be able to plus Ugin anymore because he's dead. It's not as good. Okay, lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can play Liliana for five, get back Eternal Witness, get back Fraley's, which makes infinite blockers actually. Two, three, four, five. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of like this a lot actually. Uh, get back Ewit, get back Fraley's. Plus Fraley's make a soldier. All right. And next turn, we actually get to play Vorinclex and go plus, 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 And that's pretty good. We're holding down the fort. The super friends fort. Don't care about your stupid signet. They have two cards in hand. So they're definitely playing some kind of control monstrosity. They have Oath of Druids, and the only creature we've seen so far is Consecrated Sphinx, and they have Elspeth as a... Okay, that's pretty good. It doesn't have haste, though, so I don't really care. The Super Fritz Ford? <laughs> Yeah, man. Totally. Obviously. Okay, they didn't do anything. Love it. Don't love that, but that's okay. <clears throat> it's your boy. Create that guy. Uh, make that guy. What do we got with Silver Connor? Just a land, huh? Plus this guy. Hmm. What was the other card? Euro. Hmm. Uh, one, two, three. Courser. Play the land off the top. <clears throat> Keeping Dima up there. And Silver Library. Plus, plus, plus. Seems good. Okay. Not going to attack because don't really need to do that. Super farts? <laughs> oh dear. Oh my god. This is big boy. Draw a card, you got it. I mean, I don't really want to trade the Vorinclex. So I think we're just trading these three gentlemen. Or trying to. They have to have a removal spell in hand. And if they do, they're not killing Vorinclex. And we know we have Demonic Tutor on top, so. I mean, this is a pretty easy trade. These are all free cards. I mean, I'm waiting for them to go explosion expansion and kill us. Hmm. Is this Bane Fire? Are they just Bane Firing us for, for like six? I'm sure it is. Ah, <sighs> boy. Okay, <clears throat> that's significantly better. It does leave us with a Karn.
Oh my god, it came into play with three counters. Oh. <laughs> That's going to do it, buddy. Oh wow, that was amazing. I forgot about that and now I'm excited. Oh my god, dude, that's insane. <clears throat> oh yeah, the pause, they're like, okay, so I can't do that exact thing that I wanted to do. Deals three damage to the face. Okay, that's good. I mean, that's good. It also only plus one. <clears throat> Drew that demo. Uh, yep. Uh, put you on top. Put you on top. Go to the main step. Do I have any other ways to gain life? I'm sure we can demo for something that's going to get us life. Obviously, I'm calling it demo because of Robert. <clears throat> um, murderous rise of murderous rise. I think I just want acidic slime to like start chucking off their own stupid lands. We're going to kill this one because if we target the other one, they can make it a creature and then it gets hexproof. I don't think they saw that, but. Huh. Um, yeah, we're just going to negative one for Karn. Get back Euro. That gains us some life. Did play a land. Oh, so we get to, get to go to seven here, which is pretty healthy. <clears throat> um, so I actually have blue. We can crack this for blue, and then we get to play Euro again. Let's do that. Because we break even from that. And then we can get, uh, get rid of one, two, three, uh, four and five. Let's go to 10 here, nice and safe with a treachery on top. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> uh, nope. I don't want to mill myself. So let's just get back phantasmal image. Copy acidic slime. I don't think they're going to do this. I think they've f 6 here. So let's see if they've done it. Oh, got them both. And now we're just going to destroy one of these guys as well. And we're just kind of taking everything out here. Um, attack Ugin. Attack your face. Attack your face. And now we're at 10. And we've activated this, this, and this. Okay. That feels good. <clears throat> Didn't Mutumbu say not today? Not in my house. Oh, wow. Hardcast Kazi, huh? Okay. I feel it. I mean, you saw me draw a treachery, right? Yeah. 
Oh, Ancestral? I wonder if we can kill them with Ancestral at some wacky point. Uh, put you on top. How much damage is this? I don't even know. Oh, no, I guess it's lethal. <laughs> I didn't even count. I was just like, you know what? This is complex. I'm just going to let you figure it out. What was our biggest problem? The stupid lands? I don't even think that's that big of a deal, really. Casualties of War seems good against them, though. They also had, like, we could hit an Oath of Druids. <clears throat> we can probably pitch a... Ch Actually, Choops is probably going to be good. I do like... We have Murderous Rider and Assassin's Trophy. And we have Treachery. Yeah, those are all probably better than Choops. I kind of like Woodfall Primus here. Like, they have Wrath of God. If they want to Wrath of God and kill this dude, like, that's fine. Do it. I dare you. <clears throat> um, I was going to be like, do I like it better than Turn Timber Symbiosis? I mean, yes, but that's also not really comparable, so. I guess you just play 41 sometimes, you know? Thank you. Kirk, what up? Thank you for the resub, buddy. If only this deck had the new Garrick. I hear he's pretty good Blaine's arc. Is that Garrick any good? I don't know. It's an old meme, but it checks out. I mean, this hand has Euro, two lands, and an Ancestral. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Turn Timber is just free. Grizzly Adams did have a beard. So if I don't hit land, we're definitely going to Ancestral on their turn. <clears throat> if we hit a land, we'll probably just ride it out because <clears throat> we don't really need to draw more cards here. Because we're going to hit our draw for the turn and our draw for Euro, and if one of those is a land, we're already ahead, so... That was a good one to hit. Oh, wow. They just F6. I don't think they have any counter spells in their deck. That was pretty good. Because <clears throat> any land now, we get to play Fraley's. Had bear with a beard to height. Okay. Well, that's a sentence, all right. Is it going to be land, you think? I'm going to pester my dear. You know what? I don't care. Without a land here, I'm pretty sure I'm going to Ancestral. We go to nine, but we get to play land, go to eight. I want to hit lands. So, of course, we hit a green. That doesn't let us do much of anything, but yeah, that's okay. Let's get rid of... I think it's actually Liliana here. Give me a black source. Come on. You son of a biscuit. I mean, I still accept this, this exchange. Like, I would rather save Assassin's Trophy for something bigger like Ugin or Elspeth or... I mean, they're just going to play Elspeth this turn and negative three it to kill my Gargaroth 
and then we're going to hope we hit a black land to kill their Elspeth, and it's just going to be a whole to-do. Ready? <laughs> oh, boy. Eh, actually, if this is a Kozilek, it's actually kind of funny how much I don't... I don't really hate it. I mean, we're going to... We're going to friggin' get rid of a bunch of lands here, but we get to keep a 6-6? Six, six? Sure. Oh, no. Okay. <clears throat> you got it. I mean, our hand is pretty rough, all things considered. Let's draw a card. Want to hit a land? Hey, we hit a land. Good for us, you know? Guess we're just passing here. It's going to be Consecrated Sphinx, I'm sure. It's an Emrakul. <laughs> See, that's kind of funny. I don't think we have an answer for that. Well, that's awkward. Okie dokie. Oh, boy. Yep. All right. Let's go to the next game. What do we have drawn there? A Courser. Okay. Now that's pod racing. Okay, we're not leaving out any sort of enchantment removal, because otherwise, I mean, like, we want to take out Oath, and we want to take out... I mean, Primal Command might be better than... No, it can't be. We have Acidic Slime, Fraley's, Assassin's Trophy. I mean, that seems good. Um, yeah, we'll keep this hand. We're on the play. We get to go Sylvan Library. Oh, let's not skip our... Yeah, Choop would have been fine for Emrakul. That's a good point. My, my, my theory is that more than likely they're going to sneak it into play. <laughs> but then again, maybe not. I also kind of don't want to play creatures until I have an answer for Oath of Druids. Because if you play a creature and they play Oath of Druids... That's not a flavor fail at all. I think it's awesome that a Chupacabra can kill an Emrakul. That's actually hilarious. Yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, there. I can see an argument being made for playing looter there, actually. But I again, I don't want to play a a thing. They look like they're they're pretty light on red mana, so the odds of them going sneak attack and then activate sneak attack that turn seems pretty low. Mm, we're not gonna be able to play that now, so we'll put put you on top, and then put you on top of that. In response, I'll tap it. Oh, he did it. Okay, next step. Oh, brains. Brains. Oh, I once saw a Chupacabra eat a whole car. <laughs> See, that's funny. There's some comedy happening here, guys. Hope you guys are ready for it. So this is why we kept casualties on top, and we have to kind of hope 
that they don't have a land. Or a counterspell, I don't know why I said land there. Cast, artifact, enchantment, land. Get down with me again. Free with me. Oh, wow, that was backbreaking. Ha! Got him! Uh, put you on top. One, two. Put you on top. Oof, I want to keep all these things. Um, we're just going to keep Karn, put you on top. I don't really need to keep these cards as the thing. <laughs> Take them off all their lands, bro. Oh my god. Trophy time, boys, with a sweet soul tie deck. Thank you guys for watching. Hell of a dude. Thank you so much for the donations, man. Brett, thank you for the gifted subs. Really appreciate you guys. Old Man Silver, Irk, everyone else who subbed. Really appreciate you guys. Nix87, Cyborg Huey. Everyone who subbed. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate the support. If you guys are watching on Twitch, definitely consider going. Or if you're, yeah, if you're if you're watching on Twitch or you're watching on YouTube, definitely consider going to Twitch and subscribing. It's a great way to support the channel. It's a great way to keep me alive, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Really, really appreciate you guys.